What's up guys? Skull Crusher here, man. We're going to be uh, getting some fish in the tank today. It's been cycling for about uh, three weeks now. Uh, I converted it into a freshwater tank. I'm not going to be using salt. A saltwater tank anymore. And these are baby Oscars. Uh, these are Tiger Oscars right here. They're babies. Uh, they're probably about an inch, inch and a quarter. And these are the other uh, Oscars, the African cichlids I got. Uh, they're about two inches long right now. We're gonna see how big they get. We're gonna just keep, I'm gonna keep on making a video maybe once a week and just for kind of recording their size and what I'm feeding them and all that good stuff. Uh, it's a 150, 150 gallon oceanic tank with a trickle filter on the bottom. It's been cycling for three weeks. I got this uh, cool little piece today at a, a fish store here in San Antonio. Paid 38 bucks for it. Not bad. I like it a lot. It's cool. It's driftwood. It's hooked up to slate. And uh, man, that's all look good. And plus, I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting some Texas Holy Rock out there. I'm gonna buy a couple pieces, man. I already spent over a hundred bucks today on stuff. Uh, whenever I start tanks, guys, I use Aquasafe Aqua Safe Plus, and this is what I use whenever I start up a tank. I've been using this for since the beginning now. I've been three weeks now. Uh, the pH level is gonna be high on this tank because I'm using live sand, and this is the pH range I'm using. Uh, right now the tank's sitting at 7.8. The food I'm going to be starting them off with is this cyclic gold. This is what I fed my old Oscars when they were babies. And then I started, when they got bigger, I started feeding them warm from Walmart. I started feeding them, uh, shoot, anything, uh, live heart, anything, you know what I mean? Feeder fish, all that stuff. And I had my other fish for about seven years. And this is, uh, I don't know how to say it correctly, but I say Hakari. Uh, cyclic gold alright guys we're gonna let them uh, float in here for a little while they're just chillaxing right now getting them acclimated getting them used to the water temperature and then slowly I'm gonna start adding water from the tank in there and uh, we'll get the fish in there today uh, I'm gonna be setting up the little decoration right now while they're sitting there chilling out so I'll get some video of that guys cool Driftwood in here now. Just gonna put it in there real slow. Hopefully it looks good. Yeah. It's gonna look better. Probably should have cleared a little spot first, but I'm just going to push it over and then scoop it in there. All right, right now I'm just acclimating the fish. Uh, I'm pouring a little bit of water every like five to ten minutes or so. Uh, I'm gonna do it like five or six times. That's just the way I do it. Uh, there's probably a certain way you're supposed to do it, but I don't give a crap. That's how I do it. I'm just gonna keep on pouring a little bit of water every now and then. Make sure they got uh, good clean water going in there. Tank's real cloudy. Started moving stuff around. I sand still leave dust everywhere so I'm gonna be filtering it every time uh, every week I'm gonna be changing about 10% of the water for a couple months uh, until you know I mean until the, the tank gets established and until uh, the sand starts making the tank cloudy every time I go and move stuff around so uh, I'm gonna be changing about 10% of uh, the water every week 
All right, this is what I used uh, to change the, the water out, guys. Uh, it's an Aquarion model. It has a switch in this side and it has a little part right here with adapters that hooks up to sinks. I hook it up to my sink usually or outside, wherever you need to hook it up to. Um, it comes with this little bitty hose, this little extension, which is okay for a little 10, 20 gallon tank, it'll do the job. But for this big old tank, if you look, look at that, it's not big enough. And this is how I, this is what I bought. Uh, it was nine bucks. It was nine bucks. It's a little extension. And it goes on the front of this. This just pulls off. It's not screwed on to nothing. And this just slides in. And that's it. That's it. Check that out. Cool. That'll help out a lot. <laughs> uh, for heater, for heaters, guys, I got the uh, Aquarium Pros 250 and a 200, and these suckers are bad. I got them for 33 bucks, and the other one was 31 bucks. Uh, I got them on the bottom of the stump. You can kind of see the red and the green light. One of them's on, one of them's not right now. I need to kind of mess with them. I have it set at about 79, 78 degrees right now. Uh, I got a little temperature gauge I need to put in there. Where the heck did I put it? Here we go. A little temperature gauge I picked up today. Just a little cheapy one. I don't like using these because after the Oscars get bigger, they tend to break them. But these Oscars are baby right now, so that should be all right. I'll buy another ele uh, electronic one later on. We're going to see what the temperature goes up to right now and make sure it is at 78, 79. Cool. Yeah, got the two little guys out. They're over here hanging right here chilling. We're about to let the bigger guys out. Let's do that real quick. I know they say you're not supposed to mix the water, but I don't care. There we go. Woo! Water's still pretty cloudy, but it'll clear up. Check them out, check them out. Yeah, that's not food, buddy. You leave that alone. That's a temp gauge. No, 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 no. That's what I'm telling you. No, no. That's a temp gauge. See, that's why I don't like using those. We're getting an electronic one. They're going to break it. I already know it. Check them out. Look at that. They are happy as shit right now. No, you stay away from the top. There's a little skipper right there. We're gonna name him Skipper, cause he's little. He's bad. He's Skipper. He likes to jump ship. He's way over there. I can't see him. Hey, that's why I told you. No. God damn it. I'm taking that away from you. I'm flying with this shit. See that already? They're trying to break it. I told you they break those things. You don't put these with Oscars, guys. That's what I'm telling y'all right now. Swimming around. I got one jet right there. Those are the ones that come in from the big pump on the bottom. And I got two other jets circulating this water. They're looking like they're loving it. There's probably about 20,000 currents in there. Yeah, having a blast. Let's do something around, ready to go. Couldn't wait to get out of there, out of that damn bag. You're stuck in that bag for a whole two hours. Make sure the temp in the bag was matched to the temp in the tank and I acclimated it a ton. Looks good, looks good. They're doing good, guys. I'll come back to you later, so I'm going to eat something right now. Alright guys, we got the tank up, we got all the stuff inside, I got the Texas Holy Rock that I got at Alpha already, didn't show you that earlier, uh, I picked it up about two weeks ago and I had it cleaned and all that good stuff, didn't clean it perfect, don't really matter to me, I like the way it looks just like that, fish are swimming around, everything's looking pretty good, the water's still pretty cloudy, hopefully it clears up by tomorrow morning, I'm going to be getting you a video of uh, 
it all clear. I'll even get the camera inside there and show y'all around. I think it'll look pretty cool like that, man. Uh, subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be feeding them crazy stuff. Anyway, whenever they start getting bigger, I'm gonna start feeding them worms, whatever y'all want. I'm gonna go catch grasshoppers. I don't give a crap. Just gonna go feed them crazy stuff. Uh, a long time ago, when my mom, my dad used to live with us, uh, we had Oscar, and we used to go look for uh, grasshoppers, and that's kind of why I'm hooked, and that's kind of why I wanted this, and didn't use salt water. So I hope y'all enjoy this tank. I hope y'all enjoy my video. So uh, subscribe right here. This is to Skull Crushers Adventures. I'm gonna be making more uh, fish tank videos. I uh, hope y'all enjoy it, guys. All right, peace out.